Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video about modular colonization systems mod or MKS for short. In the previous video we've taken a look at supplies and in this video we will take a look at habitation. Habitation is yet another parameter or resource that your kerbals now require with MKS installed and in general the more hub space they have the more comfortable the conditions they are living are the longer they can stay in space and as you can see this small lander can is only providing for about a little bit over seven days of habitation time and this is something that you will have to learn to manage if you are planning to send your kerbals on any kind of extended mission so let's take a look by default every part that has crew capacity on it will provide seven and a half kerbin days of habitation so the small lander can will provide obviously seven and a half days but parts that have larger crew capacity will provide more this more advanced landing pod has crew capacity of three kerbals, so for one kerbal, if we just put our Jebediah inside, it will provide over 21 days of, or 22 days of habitation to be precise. So, if we take a look at the launch pad, this is exactly what happened. The hub time for our Jebediah has been extended to over 22 days. And as you can see, since he is alone in a three-seater pod, he can stay there for quite a long time. You can obviously extend that even more if you add more hub space, but this method is not exactly very efficient. If we add more kerbals to this landing pod, their hub time will be reverted to seven and a half days because, well, the pod is now full, so each seat is occupied, so each kerbal has its hub time reverted to the default seven and a half kerbin days per seat. So if those were our only options, sending our kerbals on any kind of extended mission would require a massive overkill in hub space. But luckily for us, this is not the case. MKS introduces a couple of different modules or modifications of different parts that allow you to extend the hub space without actually giving your kerbals more hub space. And this stock hitchhiker storage container has a built-in module now that will add 25 kerbal months for the kerbals that are on the vessel. Some other specialist MKS parts also have this module on them, like this big Tundra habitation ring, and this basically adds extra Kerbal months to the vessel or the overall hub space. There are also more technically advanced modules that you can have, and um, they introduce two different types of habitation space. One is hub common, which uh, works as a home on hub space, basically by multiplying the overall uh, hub time on your vessel. And the other is hub quarters, and hub quarters works pretty much like habitation, but I believe that uh, it is currently bugged, and there is one parameter on it that does not seem to do anything which is crew affected. But without dwelling too much into details, let's try out the hub quarters first. So as you can see, I have this Kerbitat um, that is currently set to hub quarters, which basically will provide a lot of hub time for our Kerbals. We obviously need to activate it, it will require some electricity to function. And as you can see, uh, the hub time for our Kerbals has increased quite a lot. For pilots, if the hub time is longer than one year, it will be counted as indefinite. And for all the other Kerbals, it needs to exceed 50 years. And as you can see, our Kerbals can now stay uh, in this small Kerbitat for over one year, which is quite nice. Now, I believe that the mode auto intention for the crew affected parameter was that, well, simply it would affect a certain number of crew members and it also makes sense if you think about that in terms of quarters, but this is not actually quite true. Now I removed all the kerbals from this Kerbitat and when we start it, you will see that his hub time, the maximum hub time and the home time has been extended four times. And it doesn't really make sense. You might think that, well, he has more quarters at his disposal, but now when we reverse the situation and actually add more kerbals than this Kerbitat should be able to influence because as you can see on the part description we see that the Kerbitat will affect six crew members while it is able to hold only four. So now we added a little bit of extra hub space by adding those crew cabins and two extra kerbals over which the Kerbitat should be able to support and when we launch the vessel you will see that the overall hub time for the entire crew is exactly what we would expect, which means that it's 69 months of habitation divided by 8 kerbals that we actually have on our vessel, which means that the crew affected parameter, in my opinion, is not doing anything. Which actually is for the better, because it makes the mod a little bit easier to understand. 
This particular habitat, as well as some other parts introduced by MKS, can also be configured as hub common. And hub common does not actually add a lot of hub space by itself, but it multiplies all the hub space already available on your vessel. So if we attached this part to a vessel that would have, say, 100 Kerbal months of habitation, activating this part would increase that hub space to over 542 days, which is very good. So we will conduct a little experiment here and add this inflatable habitat that has a simple habitat module on it that should keep four crew members happy for about over one year. And uh, when we launch the vessel, do you see that after activating this inflatable habitat, this is exactly what happened. We see that their hub time now increases to one year and 170 days. But after activating the efficiency part hub common, their hub time is multiplied by over five times, which is very good. So this is exactly what you want to do when you want to extend your hub time by quite a lot. You build up a vessel with enough hub space and then add efficiency parts like hub common. This way you will be able to build a vessel that is very compact and also quite comfortable for your Kerbals to live in. Now, if your Kerbals run out of supplies, habitation or simply become homesick, they will turn into tourists and there is one way to remedy that situation is to send them to a medbay. Medbay will convert your Kerbals back to whatever they were before and it will consume some electricity and colony supplies that is another resource introduced by MKS in the process. Um, I had some problems using medbays before but the basic concept is exactly this. If your Kerbals become tourists because of whatever reason, too much time spent in space, not enough snacks or whatever, and you cannot send them back home because they are, for example, somewhere far away or you have no vessel or, I don't know, for whatever reason you don't want to send them back to Kerbin, what you do, you send them into Medbay and they should be fixed and operational in no time. If you want to build a permanent colony on a surface of a different body, then you need to use colonization modules. Colonization modules actually freeze the hub and home timers for your Kerbals, but they will consume some colony supplies and electricity in the process. You will also need to supply your Kerbals with regular supplies so they don't starve, but this is your option for permanent colony production. Those colony supplies can be produced in situ if you have full MKS production chain, but they can also be supplied from Kerbin, which is initially much, much easier. Now, I believe that you were paying extreme attention throughout the entirety of this tutorial and you probably have noticed that we have two timers, hub and home. There is a quite a significant difference between the two of them and the difference is as follows. Hub time is the hub time for your Kerbal in its current vessel and the home time is the time that the Kerbal has before it needs to return to Kerbin. Hub time can be reset or extended by changing the environment and the home time, well, it never resets. It's equivalent to the highest hub time that your Kerbal has experienced. So as you can see now I have Bill sitting in a base that has a very nice home and hub time of 44 years and um, I have Bob riding in a small rover that actually has pretty much no habitation space, just the default one. As we get Bob closer to the base you will see that both the home and hub time for Bob will increase to half the hub time and home time that Bill has currently because well there will be two Kerbals. And as you can see, once Bob got to 150 meters close to our base, which is the distance at which the hub time is calculated collectively, his hub and home time has been increased to 22 years, which is half of what Bill was experiencing before. And this is only because, well, there are now two Kerbals living in that base. The parts that you can see on the screen right now are actually from the... Uh, Duna series of uh, MKS colonization modules and we have one extendable habitat that is configured as hub common and the other that is configured as hub quarters. Currently as you can see those parts are also bugged which means that you can actually activate all the modules that you can use for those parts at the same time which means that you can have hub commons and hub quarters running at the same time which should not be possible but if you want to play the game as it's supposed to be then you activate one hub common and one hub quarters on the other module and then you will have the base that is capable of keeping your Kerbals happy, small number of Kerbals happy for quite an extended period of time. So thank you very much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful. I would also like to thank Luke, Carl, Roth, Joe Loffen, Shurax and all my patrons on Patreon for supporting me. It really means a lot to me. My name is Mark Frim and I will see you next time.